What's good? It's the real 40G. The man Sean Cotton and the FYBJ man was on the live stream clowning, talking about boxing King Yellow, fighting them, and this and that, right? Can't nobody take them too serious, you know, uh, especially J Man, you know, he's ultimately at the end of the day, you know, um, doing the comedy thing. So it is what it is. Um, it sounded like King Yellow responded and he was talking more to Mr. Cotton. Um, he basically said, I'll hit your ass so motherfucking hard to where you'll start seeing your past, present, future, all that shit. You know what I'm saying? You start seeing, you'll see everything that happened in your past life. He also said, man, put some bread behind that shit. 100K, 50K, whatever. You know what I mean? Matter of fact, he said, let's make it juicy. If I beat your ass, I want your platform. Say cheese is mine. And he went. That's literally what he did. That shit was hilarious. You know what I mean? Ain't gonna lie. Shit was hilarious. Um, and then if y'all lose, you know, he said, you know, I'll give him whatever he wants. With that said, a my honest opinion, opinion, the real 40G's honest opinion, J-Man ain't got no damn chance in hell. I'm a little nigga. I done fought big niggas. You know what I'm saying? Tall, lanky niggas. All of that shit. You know what I mean? So it ain't that the size really matters. But I'm talking about bro ain't got no weight on him. You know what I mean? It's different when you fight just a tall nigga, nigga tall or whatever. But they said King Yellow big dude. You know what I mean? So, with that said, you don't want no big nigga really getting the upper hand on you. You know, every time I had to fight a big dude, shit, I damn near felt like I was fighting for my life. And that's why I won. Because I knew that if this motherfucker got the upper hand on me, it would be over with. So, I fought like it was my last motherfucking fight. That's the truth. You know? Um, no tough guy shit. That's what it is. You know, motherfuckers... Peep game on who they really dealing with. Motherfuckers don't even need to really know how to fight like that. Sometimes niggas get, might get lucky and catch you with one. And that nigga got the weight behind his hands. Then motherfuckers start grabbing you and this and that. You know, that's motherfuckers go to with little niggas. Then they'll try to snatch your ass up. Right? So, cotton more of the same size will close to it compared to FYB. FYB. Man, you ain't got no chance, bro. You might as well just stay out that ring with yellow. Keep doing your comedy shit. You know, motherfuckers like the comedy shit. It's when motherfuckers can't distinguish the difference between you being serious and you playing. Is when motherfuckers, I feel like, take that shit serious. Um, you know, so same thing. Yellow pretty much take you as a comedian now. You know, um, I don't know if you look at that as a good thing or bad thing. I look at it as a good thing because honestly, um, I fuck with Yellow's content, J Main's content. Yeah, I did them diss tracks, but it's entertainment to me. I'm gonna let the fans know everything like that. It's entertainment to a motherfucker. Reality is, he got good content too. Reality is, watching his platform, you know, every now and again, he got good content. So does Yellow. So for me to sit there and Pick size, nigga. This ain't the streets. This is the internet, nigga. I don't pick my size in the streets. You know what I'm saying, y'all? All day. But on some entertainment shit, niggas not gonna get me in that. I do what I do because it's entertainment. Sometimes I do shit, you know what I'm saying? Because I know what it is with this game. Y'all motherfuckers want to be entertained. We're all entertainers at the end of the day. Whether you're a vlogger, you're rapping, you're singing. You talking shit, you're a comedian, motherfuckers go on these platforms to be entertained, alright, so that's what motherfuckers is doing, ultimately, I don't even, everybody else blowing that shit up, oh, I wanna, yeah, yeah, I wanna see them niggas fight, celebrity fight, man, that shit dead as hell, cause truth be told, ain't, ain't, I might hurt some feelings, but I think yellow will knock y'all niggas out, um, I don't want to see y'all fighting, man. Y'all niggas could get a bag way faster coming together. So, I'm the nigga that supports both of these niggas. Call it what you want to. I support both of them at the end of the day. 
So my diss tracks to J Main is entertainment. If he want to do a diss track and diss me, you think I give a fuck? You think I give a fuck? Motherfuckers get bags off of promoting themselves and promoting each other. The minute I mention J Main's name, whether I got 200 subscribers, 2,000 subscribers, 200,000, it doesn't matter. The, mention, the minute I mention that nigga's name, he blows up more in algorithm. It might help me a little bit, but he blows up in algorithm. Same thing as if they mentioned my name. So why would I give a fuck? Why do you think they really give a fuck? King Yella and J-Man be sharing each other's videos. Fuck it. We beefing. Let's keep this shit going. But ultimately, does either one of them want their lives to be taken? I doubt that shit. Do motherfuckers really want to see one of them kill each other? No, nah, motherfuckers on J-Man's end would be sad. Niggas on King Yella's end would be sad. You know, as far as Mr. Cotton, I don't know much about the nigga. I just know he the Say Cheese nigga. I look at him as Mr. Say Cheese. You know what I mean? But besides him being a blogger or vlogger or whatever you want to call it, I don't know nothing about this nigga. I don't know nothing about Streetwise, none of that shit. Now, j Main at least been around, you know, some of the guys, whether it was just music related or whatever. And then King Yella, y'all already know what it is. The, the nigga that been on Gangland and all of that shit. Y'all can't take nothing from the nigga. Just my take on everything. If y'all don't like it, suck my dick. I'm out.